Shouldn't have been here, are you? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Come on, me mates being buried. If we don't get there soon, he'll be dead. Fraser's really dead. And it's my fault. Oh, it's nobody's fault, Wayne. It was his time. We had a reading of the will while you were out cold, Wayne. The bar's mine now, but I'd like you to continue running the place and I'll give you a 10% rise. All right then, 15. We're ready, Elizabeth? Oh, I just come in. It'll take time, but we will get through this. Goodbye. Fraser really took me out, you know. Maybe he considered eating out to be an unnecessary luxury. <laughs> I think he considered me to be an unnecessary luxury. Oh, no. Man cannot live by bread and water alone. Fraser could. I can he cook. Elizabeth, I want you to know I have no intention of trying to replace Fraser. <laughs> I should bloody well hope not. I'm not going through all that till death has to part business again. I heard it was a particularly violent heart attack. Wayne told me he didn't suffer. We said his face was hideously contorted. He thought Mr Devlin was trying to kill him. It was the stress. Poor Fraser. The stress. That must have been it. I heard he'd just written somebody a cheque. Come on, let's. I loved him. He knew. Believe me, he knew. Oh. My daddy's dead. Greg, there's nothing I'd like more than to see your father walk through that door. Because nothing Forgive me, Fraser. Take the place of you. Did you see that? Fraser built that for us the day he proposed. I had no idea they had a wood shop in Berlin. -y. 
I think now I'd like to be alone. John Coote. Thank you. Ode to Hood. Poor old man living alone. Can he afford his dog a bone? Along came Hood with canine food. Death comes only once. Just had to have one last whiskey before I left the now homeland. In his coffin. All the best, son. Yeah. When it's my have a nice flight. I hate the dark and I'd rather come. Thank you, Fraser. You were always there for friends. Farewell, Fraser. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I knew Fraser Hood better than anyone else in this room. That includes his faithful wife. Yes. It was I who introduced Fraser to the purple haze of the meth spot, to the heady heights of solvent abuse. And as the worms and maggots burrow their way through Fraser's soft flesh, I am sure he is thinking of you all. In fact, were he here tonight, I am sure this is how he would express himself. The record shows I took the blow. And did it my way? <laughs> Hood's alive? No, he's no. Hood's a dead man. You can't keep a good man down. coming. Aye, but there'll be no salvation for you. I think your boyfriend's leaving. <laughs> Shift work. So, um, bye then, Mrs. Hood. And you can get your ass home. You and I are going to have a long talk, dear. Something you want to say to your father, pet? <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, Fraser. Wasn't that the Undertaker? Aye. You don't seriously think I would trust you with my funeral and just as well I know. Fraser, Mulheron. <laughs> it's great to see you again, Fraser. Don't worry, it won't last. Just the one. We'll see Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. What was the deal with the Undertaker? Two months, free booze. A bit over generous, that. Would be if he wasn't about. I think after all that, Mulherden still didn't get his five grand. No. Tell me, you didn't give him the money. Well, you were dead, remember? I had to pay your debts. Oh, and by the way, I don't sleep with dead men. I'm not one of them necrophiliacs. Hey, hold on a minute. I am the victim here. You were the one trying to screw a screw. Well, like it or not, I'm in mourning for my poor dead husband. Now beat it.
Hello. There's been a murder at the Hood residence. Dead again. There I was, about to board my flight, when Mulhern arrives with some good news. Fraser Hood has risen from the grave. Poor diagnosis, miraculous recovery. Can this thing not go any faster? Yep. Why? At last, we meet Fraser. Win. seen the light. I was talking chinks as opposed to beams. I'll baptize you in this holy pool. To my pajamas. I thought you were going to kill me. Oh, once, Fraser. Once. You see, it was a betrayal. The arrest. Once I realized you betrayed me, your friend, all I could think was I was going to extract your heart through your chest. You're all right now, eh? Into the brotherhood of love he is just sorry, love. Yes, of course. I've been a good boy. I've forsaken the wicked thoughts. His not even those. <laughs> Don't you know a religious ceremony when you see one? You betrayed me, Hood! You betrayed me! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Wait up! Do you realize what you've done? Saved your life. He was forgiven me! Fraser! Look at the state of your pyjamas! You want to see what the inside of a coffin looks like? Give me a yummy cockney shite! No! Fraser, no! Not steady! Look, it, it, was, it was a simple misunderstanding! No, not, not a golf club! Come here and take it like a man! No, Fraser, not the driver! Look, Fraser, if you're gonna hit me, use the firewood! Bertie! You're the kind of friend I could 